What is up guys, Jarv here and we're back again with some Destiny 2. Now today's video is all about the Arbalist and the easiest and fastest way to complete the seven triumphs that you need to obtain this weapon. So we're going to break that down in this video today. If you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new around here and want to see more Destiny content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without further delay, let's jump in. So let's take a look at the seven easiest triumphs to get the party hard triumph and that is key to getting the arbalist now the first one we're going to take a look at is called spring cleaning now this is a easy one to do you'll do this one almost straight away without even trying just jump into the verdant forest and do a few branches as you normally would and you'll get that very very easily now the next one we're taking a look at is called verdant light cooperative so during the revelry you need to generate orbs of light in strikes or raids whilst affected by revelric light. Now for me, I actually jumped into the Leviathan and went to the Castellum on this particular occasion. Once you're here, you can just go over to this doorway and the Cabal will spawn wave after wave. And once you're here, you need to go for precision kills to generate orbs from the revelric light itself. And after a period of time, you'll eventually get the triumph. Now the next triumph we're taking a look at is called Verdant Light Events. So during the revelry, generate orbs of light in the Verdant Forest or any Black Armoury Forge whilst affected by revelry light. Now similar to the last triumph, but on this occasion we actually went to the Bergersia Forge in the EDZ. Once you're in here, if you head over to the right hand side and aim for the dregs, always going for precision kills as always to generate those orbs of light. Make sure to take out the shielded enemies as well to make sure they drop the batteries because it's taken out those enemies that extend your timer. So don't worry about throwing the batteries in the forge itself. Just keep taking those out to extend your timer. And if you're in there as a fire team, you can run that forge indefinitely until you all complete that triumph. So the next one we're going to take a look at guys is called the Spring Hunt. So during the revelry, you need to defeat three bosses in one run of the Verdant Forest. Now this will probably be the first triumph that you'll get, or one of them at least. All you need to do is complete branches of the forest and defeat at least three of the five bosses at the end. Fairly straightforward and it'd be one of your first. The next one then is called Super Celebratory. Now during the revelry you'll need to defeat enemies using super abilities in any activity. So you can use any of the previous two we've mentioned, either the Black Armoury Forges, the Castellum in the raid, or even just run branches normally. I was running a Skull of Amankara Warlock, so getting supers was a very easy task. So moving on to our penultimate triumph then, this one is called Fireworks. So during the revelry, we need to land grenade final blows either in Crucible, Gambit, or Strikes. Now with this one, we actually loaded into the Nightfall. So this is the Terminus East Lost Sector within that Nightfall. So by loading into a Nightfall as a fire team, we put the modifiers as low as possible, added Grenadier, so we had an increased grenade recharge rate, and we basically just farmed Lost Sectors for our grenade kills. So we wasn't affecting anyone else because we were in a private session as a fire team of three, but we were repeating the Lost Sectors over and over again to get the kills that we needed to complete the firework triumph. And the final triumph we're going after guys is called Melee Mayhem. So during the revelry, you'll need to land melee final blows on the enemies, either in the Verdant Forest, any Black Armoury Forge, or in raids. And with this one, the choice is entirely up to you. It depends if you're running solo or in a fire team. If you're running solo, use the Castellum in the Leviathan raid. And if you're running as a fire team, then there's no reason that you can't run the Verdant Forest because at the end of the day, you're going to need some of that essence to actually purchase the Arbalest at the very end. So there we have it, guys. That is a quick guide to the easiest and fastest triumphs to get the Arbalest in the Revelry 2019. So I hope you found those hints and tips useful. If you have, be sure to leave a rating on this video. That super helps me out. If we can get anywhere near 100 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. And if you're new to the channel and want to see even more Destiny content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon. Peace.